Woo. <laughs> Ugh, I always have my hair on my lips because this is what. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, this is why I gotta put my phone on silent so I don't have that happen again in the middle of a video recording. Hey guys, welcome back to Top Handle. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the fall and winter trends of 2022 and 2023. Now, like I mentioned before, this is my favorite season. I love the fall. I love pumpkin spice lattes. I love wearing sweaters. I love wearing coats, boots, all of it. So I'm gonna be very much excited to do this video and to talk to you guys about some of the trends that have been spotted on the runway. And then of course, in some of the other major cities as well. Now, this year's trends are kind of varied on many different types of themes or looks. So it, of course, some may be pertaining towards your style, some may not. So of course, you can find ways to easily pair up some items with the current looks that you have or the type of style that you have. And so for myself, with some of these different ones, I tried to find some items that were maybe similar to what the trend was. And of course, try to adapt it towards what I would typically wear to kind of fit my style because for example, I like to dress very chic, elegant, sophisticated, kind of like a city type of girl. So for myself, like for example, if a trend was something like you gotta wear punk rock type of items, that might not work for me because that doesn't really pertain to what I wear day to day. But there are some things that I can easily do to kind of adapt and add those little elements into my outfits that'll still fit well with my current style. So with some of the suggestions I have, they may be pertaining towards my style. Maybe they'll help you give you some suggestions as well. But of course, look at finding ways to kind of be creative and see how they could fit into your current style. So to kick off this video is with biker chic and leather materials. Now this whole biker chic leather type of look, I've got a feeling that this has mostly come from this year because I've seen a lot more of a rise in sort of that punk rock, aviator type of look the 90s type of matrix style that you're seeing a lot more of so i think that's kind of where this theme is coming from so this kind of look will include different types of stuff such as wearing of course leather jackets and these could be kind of like the leather motorcycle type of jackets to long leather trench jackets and this could be wearing of course leather skirts leather leggings leather pants boots and many different things honestly and luckily right now a lot of brands are coming out with a lot of faux leather items too if you don't want to buy anything that's real leather and a lot of them are in great materials as well because I found some of the stuff that I have bought I have been wearing for at least over a year or two and they're all still in great shape so hopefully they'll work for you as well so of course one of my favorite ones to wear is of course a leather jacket which is a staple I believe in everybody's closet I think you should always have a leather jacket in your closet no matter if it's real or faux or whatever because it's one of those things that just looks effortless effort ugh, looks effortlessly I can't even say the freaking word it's one of those things that you don't even need to make an effort to look cool <laughs> I can't even say the word pretty much like of course you could easily put this over top of anything you're wearing if you're wearing a bodysuit or a tank top or a nice sweater and it kind of adds a bit of an edge to your look something that makes you look like a cool type of girl and it's something so easy to put on and it keeps you warm which is really nice so you don't need to wear any sort of puffy or wool type of jacket if it's kind of if it's a type of chilly type of day then you can honestly just go away with a leather jacket to keep you warm so that's kind of what I love about that now next up kind of Pertaining towards the theme that I've talked about in some of my other videos is the whole 90s Y2K look. It's coming back in and, and then of course there are a couple of clothing items that I'm seeing return back that funny enough I remember wearing when I was in middle school. So that's when I was in the grade six to eight and I can see them coming back to style right now. So that's, so one of the biggest things I'm seeing is the ribbed tank tops, which you can easily find at any sort of store. You need to go to H&M, Zara, to various other different brands, and they'll all have them for very cheap. And this one's a very, and this is a very effortless type of look that you can pair up with anything if you want to wear your ribbed tank top with some jeans, leather leggings, or anything like that. And of course, one of the other big things with the 90s look is the oversized style. So if that's wearing an oversized blazer, oversized jackets, pants, skirts, stuff like that for some reason they just love the big size I love the oversized type of stuff back in the 90s and I'm seeing so much more of this right now now of course just to make it a little bit more elegant and more elevated I'd say is just try to make sure that you just wear one item that's oversized 
Then make, the, make sure the rest of the items that you're wearing are very fitted items. So for example, if you're wearing an oversized blazer, maybe go for some more fitted type of pants or skinny jeans or something like that so that you're not looking like, look a lot more boxier if you just continuously wear oversized items from head to toe. So that's why it's probably best if you try and pair it up with some more fitted items. And then as well too is the long skirt. So kind of, this one's very similar to the whole oversized look, but this one is more with the oversized skirts or the very long type of skirts that kind of go down to the ankle. Now, I don't have any skirts like that. I have one that kind of hangs just above my ankle, which I can kind of show here, um, which very easy to kind of pair up, kind of fits with the 90s look, but it's just the way that I would dress it up. And of course, if you have something longer to wear that kind of fits with the 90s trend, then totally go for that. Now, of course, some of the 90s inspiration celebrities that I can think of right now with these types of styles would be people like Julia Roberts, the TLC group, Jennifer Lopez, Selena, Jennifer Aniston, Cindy Crawford, Drew Barrymore, and Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss. So those are some of the style inspirations that you can easily also look up to if you kind of look up Kate Moss, 90s fashion, that you get to see kind of the styles that these celebrities wore back then and kind of what were the popular trends. Next style is one that I have mentioned before in one of my videos, which is the preppy look. So if you know, for example, Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl, she's a great example, somebody who pulls off the whole preppy look. If you kind of look up on Pinterest, like you know, the whole country club, tennis club type of style, the preppy kid type of look, you're gonna find lots of different inspirations of that stuff, like very nice type of sweaters. You got the tennis skirts, the plaid skirts. You have a lot of plaids and tweed type of items, a lot of blazers. So in this video, I'll show off a, a couple of examples where I do wear some of the blazers that I have that may be in a more tweed or type of wool type of outfit that kind of give off a bit of a preppy look to an outfit. And this one luckily is a good one that you can easily wear daytime if you're hanging out with your friends all the way to going to work as well because I find this to be very much a classy type of outfit that's very easy to wear in any occasion. Now the next one, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think I would actually have this clothing item, but I actually do because I think it was something that I picked up last year and that was cargo pants. So some of the celebrities I've been seeing wear cargo pants would be people like Kim Kardashian, I think it was, I think it was Bella Hadid or Gigi Hadid, one of the two sisters and such. And kind of pertaining of course, similar to the whole oversized clothing item trend. This one is kind of similar because cargo type of pants do give off a bit of an oversized look to them. They are very puffy. So of course try to pair it up with something more fitted if you're wearing like a ripped tank top for example on top or any sort of bodysuit. I find that that looks really cool. Or if you have a crop top, a kind of fitted crop top then it looks also really nice. And of course this type of outfit is more for something very casual if you're just going out hanging out with friends, if you've got a daytime event or a festival to go to, something like that, then this kind of works for that. So for myself, I do have a camouf I have a pair of camouflage cargo pants that I usually like to wear for very casual occasions if I'm just going out for the day, seeing my friends, or maybe if I'm even going grocery shopping, I'll just wear them because they're very comfortable to wear, but they still look kind of cool. Now, of course, with the fall season and winter season coming up, that means that the temperature is gonna be dropping and we need to bring out our oversized coats. So of course, I'm certain a lot of you guys do have your own wool coats, leather coats, and anything like that. But of, but of course, the trend for this year is a lot of the statement oversized type of coats. So if these are coats coming in various different types of bright colors, different types of materials, plaids, tweeds, stuff like that, those types of materials are very popular again this season, and I highly recommend you definitely have a look at some of the shops that are selling them. So for example, for myself, I do have a Zara jacket that's in a black and white type of tweed material that I love wearing. And honestly, this jacket, I've gotten so many different compliments. I don't know if they're still selling it at Zara though because I did buy this a couple years ago, but I'm certain you can find something very similar to it at another retailer. And now lastly, this one's kind of interesting. I do like it and luckily I do have a few items, is cheetah print. It's funny with cheetah print, like I love cheetah print so much, especially if you wear it in a very subtle type of way and not anything that kind of just screams like you're a zoo, <laughs> that you're wearing a zoo all over you. Like if we're wearing head to toe cheetah print, I feel like that's sometimes a bit too much. Um, but for myself, of course, I have a couple of examples of some cheetah items where I have like a, for example, 
I have one shirt that I sometimes wear to work, which is in a cheetah print, and that one I can easily wear with a very simple type of pants, if that's white jeans or if that's with a pair of black trousers. That easily works and it's not something that's gonna just absolutely scream that there's like a live animal on me. Another example that I have as well is I have a really nice dress that I wear sometimes when I go out. Which So what I have is kind of a wrap dress that has a cheetah print on it, and this is from the brand Witchery that I really like, and this one's really nice to wear when I go out and it's very breezy and easy to look. Now, of course, this one might not be good with the droppy temperatures, but I find it looks good regardless. And if some of you guys are curious what this is, this is my fiance's Lego collection because he's a huge Lego fan. So this is, of course, of uh, New York City right behind me of some of the skyline. I decided just to include it because I was like, why not? I'm going to be showing some elegant clothing and I figured let's just have a bit of a, let's have a, bit of a New York skyline background for this video because why not? If you've spotted any other fall or winter trends, like please leave them in the comments down below so that I can have a read. And of course we can share this information with other people because this page, I love sharing information. I love having discussions. So of course, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below as well. Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.